Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Fish Sin Jr.'s weekly recap. In this podcast, I just talk about what went over throughout my week and just talk about it. So if you guys like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe and let's get going. But before I get going, I just want to thank um, Dead Sea Mud Mask for today's video. I will be using this to uh, do my face mask. Every Sunday I, I use this. I just didn't get the opportunity to really uh, introduce this, but I'll be doing this while I um, talk about my week. Yeah, this is usually for my pores. As you get older, like your skin gets to be a little weaker and then it's easier to collect po like dust and like dirt and oil. So it's very, it's like important for people to like make sure to get their pores clean and nice. So yeah, anyways, so it looks like this, by the way. Yeah, it's really nice. I've been using it quite a lot. That's the mud mask. Anyway, so this, um, but oh yeah, also I don't have my contacts on, so I probably won't be able to see as much, but I'm gonna try my best to get as much as I can. But yeah, so Monday was Labor Day. I went to go, I went, I actually went to go buy books at Barnes and Nobles because I thought that reading books is important as you grow older in general, reading books helps you become a better reader. I forgot to also put this on. Just to keep my hair up. I literally brought this and I forgot to put this on. Yeah, so Monday I had, so Labor Day, so I wanted to go buy books. I bought two books actually. I had a discount as well because like new customers or whatever. So I got two books. One is about like a DNA matching thing with your uh, potential future partner. It's like a one and done deal, but then they later on figure out that this testing doesn't actually work. And they introduce five different characters. And in the book, it goes over five different um, stories. And it's been really interesting. I've been enjoying reading that book. Another one, <laughs> It's a little, I guess like, yeah, different, but it's called I'm Not a Serial Killer. And uh, the cover itself looked really nice. The, it was like a New York Times, like best-selling book at one point, so. And I do have like a weird thing of like trying to understand, not understand, uh, read more about serial killers and how they plan out things. Not because I want to become one, but I thought it's really cool that people in the world, they're like, you know, they plan things out, try to, you know, become famous by doing all these things. And then back in Japan as well, I used to watch like these documentaries of like different people that were involved in like murder cases and stuff. And they're like, police and detectives figuring out um, how or what went on and like figuring out who the suspect is and what so. And this is more like a detective mystery type. Oh series but yeah it's called i'm not a serial killer and i'm excited to read that after i finish finishing my first one and then uh on tuesday back in school you know i have established more behavioral ex expectations because yeah it's tough you know when you have a group of kids and they don't listen at times you gotta just establish that and the earlier the better because if it's too late, then they're going to take advantage of you and they will f assume that things will be fine because I didn't address it earlier. So I have built those routines and everything. Yeah, that was pretty much my Tuesday. Soccer was canceled, I guess, because when I went to the field, uh, no one was there and I was the only one. So I decided to just work out. And Wednesday, Wednesday, what did I do once? Wednesday was my chill day. Another session of teaching. Just reading my book. Yeah, I don't, on Wednesdays, I decided to not do anything because, or like, I guess like exercise and stuff because I'm just like midweek, I'm tired and all adjusting and all that. So I didn't do much on Wednesday. I did call my friend who lives in Texas. He came over, he was he was on my podcast actually, Arvid. 
he and I planned out a trip to New York on or in November. Yes, November. So we were just talking about that. We played a game with Stumble Geyser too. And I don't know, it's good catching up. Thursday, I caught Thursday was school, per usual. And then I had soccer, thankfully. But the field was taken because like high school football is going on. So we play on the grass field. Not as intense as I wanted it to be, but you know, there's so much you can ask for. So it was still nice, you know, one of my friends from Yukon also came and he played soccer with us. You know, he was my teammate. We're both captains at during our senior year and it was nice catching up, playing soccer with him again. Then, yeah, then I called my friend Naoki and we're just like catching up because he went to London actually. So we're just talking about things or his summer, my summer after we said goodbye to each other in like mid-October, no, mid-August, mid sorry, yeah, mid-August. And yeah, that happened Thursday. Friday was another chill day for me. I had school. I started a new system as well, which is like, it's like a class, classroom, like Q, whatever. Like we're trying to reach 19 Qs, so like that, and in order to achieve or earn a cube, they have to behave well, follow rules, expectations, f complete tasks, all those things. And in a day, they get three strikes, which, which are reminders. If they don't reach three strikes, and then they earn a cube. And we're trying to reach 19 because we have 19 students in the class. So I established that as well. And then it's important. It's important yes, it's like a lot of things that I have to, I'm throwing at the students, but it's important to have these types of like classroom management because without these classroom managements, like students weren't, are not gonna know what they're expected to do, what good and bad behaviors looks like. And overall as a teacher as well, like I, will, I need to make sure that they respect me as a teacher, but also like, you know, I need to show my fun sign. Like I gotta teach them discipline, but at the same time, you know, like I gotta also make sure that they're having a good time. So like, you know, balancing that out. And it's hard, you know, with a group of kids that, that are new, like it takes a while too. So the earlier to start, the better it is. And Friday at night, I didn't do much, honestly. I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything Friday. I was watching the stuff inside of him, yeah. And then I didn't do much Friday actually. And then Saturday was just Saturday. In the morning I worked out, you know, I read like 50 pages on my book, the DNA matching thing, which is going, it's just very interesting. It's called a match. So with a one, <laughs> I already forgot the title of it, but the, yeah, that book is very interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. And growing up, not liking books. It's crazy that now that I'm enjoying books, I feel like I just never really found a book that was my suit. And yeah, I finally found one, hopefully the other one too, which I'll be reading after I'm done with my first book. It's also good. You know, like going back, yeah, I'm not trying to become one. It's just that the title intrigued me and I, yeah, I just find it fascinating sometimes to look and read people's stories, you know, that went through like being a serial killer and all that and like detectives like talking about how they solve crimes and all that, including like FBI's and stuff too. And then later on Saturday, I went to go eat dinner with my friend, um, my roommate actually. And then we went to go watch a soccer game, which was pouring rain with strong wind and it was miserable. Thankfully it stopped raining after like, the first 10 minutes of the game. And it was my first time watching all uh, the team play. It's like a Hartford athletic team. It's like a second division professional team, I guess. And they're not the best, but you know, it's a, it's a good experience for me to go support the local team in the district from where I or where I live right now. And the score was 0-0, unfortunate, but it was still an experience. Um, after that, me and my roommate just got some uh, beverages and then just drank it inside the apartment and just talked and played some stumble guys, you know, just catching up with life because he's also a teacher as well. So it's good that we can just talk about things in general and like relate to a lot of things and like help each other out. Or more like I'm helping him out because it's his first year. So, you know, I've experienced that last year and it's nerve wracking. And today, this morning, I was looking into a lot of hair products, like hair treatment stuff, because how many minutes? 
because I want to make sure that my hair doesn't get bald. My hair has been frizzy recently. I think it's a change of weather and season and stuff that's affecting it. Also the sunlight. But I want my hair to make be uh, smooth, be smooth and not lose hair. And the younger or the earlier I start, the better it is. So yeah, well, I hope that that works out and we'll see. I'll test it out and I'll definitely make a video of that. So keep you guys updated in that. And yeah, that was pretty much my week. week. Not super interesting, nothing too special. I think the biggest thing is like for me to start reading books. That's like the biggest thing. And you know, just keeping myself in shape and figuring out routines and managements in my classroom. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna take this off. As you can see, you know, it's kind of dry up. Usually 10 minutes is the sweet time. So after 10 minutes, uh, I will take this off, which I'll probably start doing it right now, actually. So I'll take it off and then I'll go to the end. Uh, I'll come back to the ending and yeah, be right back. All right, my face is nice and fresh now. So yeah, if you guys like it, make sure you like and subscribe. That's the mud mask, Let's try it out. And if you guys like it, subscribe and like. I said that and peace out.